start. All right, you lead it off since I have no idea what you're talking about. Definitely. Uh, <clears throat> Hello and welcome to episode 21 right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we have an important subject to discuss. Something is lagging. Um, I do not know what it is. Happens. Oh. Your side is, my is mic? lagging. Yeah, I, you keep auto tuning. What the hell? <sighs> All right. Can you just hear me well enough, though? Yeah, I can hear you, but from time to time, it just auto tunes. All right. Um. So anyway, shit happened yesterday. Me and Trevor found out on Facebook about the Richard Richard Paul. Yeah. I don't remember. That has. Oh yeah, you auto tuned too. Oh well, this is gonna be an auto tune podcast then. There's nothing I can do about the internet. Well, anyway, um, we just found out yesterday that he decided to commit suicide. Um, we we both don't actually know him though, but it really became a drama with um three four people that commented on the post. Mm-hmm. One of them was actually like the um attention seeker meme. Yeah. And the other one was like, haha bullshit. He's just speaking this and that. And others just mocking him for that reason that it was like before he committed suicide because um there was evidence of him commenting those posts saying that it's not attention seeking. So um I was looking through. I don't want to mention the three guys that actually done it because we're not. I already. I think I, I think I know two of them, but I don't know the third one. So. Yeah, the third one is just actually re- less recent. I know the two that you're thinking about. Yeah. Um, I did look through their profiles. Um, one of them didn't really give enough remote. Didn't give any remorse. If I said that right. Um, one of them. Um. I'm gonna bring this up because um, it was today they started talking about this. I'm gonna just call him K. I'm just gonna call them letter K because um, we both so Trevor knows who it is. So I'll just call him K for now. He posted something regarding of this, so I may read it out. Just a little bit by bit. It shows a picture of a meme say, here, I found what you were looking for, and it's like two hands cupping a word, attention. And, shit. I just click on the picture, not the damn post. And, yeah, I really hate Facebook. They change a lot. Facebook looks like <clears> iPhones <throat> now, and it makes me angry. I know. It's horrible. Alright. <coughs> Sorry. I'm just sick because um temperature has been changing around the season and yeah my my state actually a death state. All right. <clears throat> hey, I just wanted to say something. I did not encourage any sort of thing towards Richard. You can see from what I post was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and I'm sorry that happened, but I'll take the blame. I saw the other comments today. I am not like that. I don't condone in any one such thing i didn't encourage anything i am sorry for his loss i am greatly am i am sorry i am sorry that's repeated i do not know where my comment is now but i sent these today before i deactivated twice hate me as you wish i understand i just feel i don't need this backlash for something of such the other comments i read from the screenshots were terrible i again will never encourage anyone ever to take their own life never and it's just explaining for them about the the michael jackson gifs he posted and other gifs on the post on his feed that makes him look like um i don't know what he call those memers furries that go all nuts and hasty all over the place or whatever I don't know. but yeah so this person has been getting um backlashes death threats um he showed in the comments where um, people were actually threatening him. Guns. There was bullets. Picture of bullets. A 
whole bunch of death threats of him come of them coming to his place and ending his own ending his life, which is um really really extreme. Well, people are commenting on Katie's post about that. Yeah, about that's, that's, uh. Well, see, one thing furries do not get is hypocrisy. No furries know what hip hypocrites mean, and uh, what everyone here is being is a freaking hypocrite. So uh, they're not getting any remorse from me. So those guys, those hypocrites, can go fuck themselves. Yeah, yeah, you've seen this post before. Um, yeah, I've I think seen you it. reacted. Yeah. Yeah, I think I liked it. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of comments in his um, post about it. like a whole bunch of people say like, yeah, it's a good thing you're actually admitting to it because um, that one girl that actually is the second person we both know that caused trouble to Richard. But yeah, yeah, I know I know who she is. I don't bother with her. Me and her don't have any uh, beef with each other. She, yeah. my first suit is her. I have my first suit is her first suit crush. So I'm just um, neutral with her. Yeah. So, so I wanted to tell you guys before we go anything else. We, like we said, um, we don't know the person. We don't know anyone because we hardly talk to it. Everyone on Facebook, we, we just talk to whoever talks to us. I don't know about Trevor's side, though. I get but, so many friend requests and people send me those shitty hi HRU messages. I just ignore them. So I don't know if he sent me one. I was friends with him since September, and I doubt he sent me one. So I don't know. All I know is he sent me a friend request, and I just randomly accepted it. Yeah. Wait, a Richard Paul or? Yeah, that Richard guy sent me a friend request back in September. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about me. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> because <coughs> when we first met, I didn't say, hi, how are you? It's just like you're regarding like, oh, hey. to... You're like, oh, hey, you're in Pennsylvania, too. Oh, hi. Yeah, that was after the group chat we were on for the Pennsylvania. Yeah, that was, that was last but... year. Yeah. So back on topic, um, there is a whole bunch of drama concerning him, like, it's a good thing he is admitting, well, in my opinion, because, well, it's a good thing that you're submitting it to it, but I actually don't want to have an opinion on this because I don't know the person. I don't, I shouldn't get into this at all. Like, I know I'm bringing this up, but we're going to talk about um the topic of the suicide um later on because um <laughs> the reason why I brought this podcast up for Trevor and starting all this, um, there has been things going on that it's not just a red shirt thing, but I've been seeing a lot lately. Um, everyone knows that this year's actually suck because all the new furries come, all the drama's happening, discrimination, bullying, suicide, um, death threats, all the threats, and even um, gossip all over the entire thing. It drove yeah, me. The, fan the fandom's a mess this year. The fandom can all go to hell for all I care. I'll join them in hell. I mean, I'm already going there, so I'll I at least want to. I if I go to hell, I do not want to get a penthouse. The heat <coughs> rises, so. Yeah. I'll work. In, I'll work <sighs> with Satan, but other than that, I'm not getting a penthouse. Yeah. So. We're gonna take a five second moment of silence for him. All right. All right. I really want to do that um, because it's the only way we can respect the because we know we don't know him. So this podcast is due to his respect. So I just want to bring this up. So this is not all we're going to talk about. So since we're done with talking about Richard, I do want to make an announcement that um, I haven't told Trevor at all, but. This may be my last episode. I may do it in this with Richard, um, with ugh, fuck Trevor, because um, I'm pretty much getting a bit busy, um, next year because um, I have projects and stuff going on. I really want to focus on. I know I've been focusing on the past months and so, 
So I may not be doing any more podcasts with um Trevor anymore, but I will be I might be or I will be seen in his videos. I don't know if he's gonna record stuff and DW's parties or Limerick Furballs or any like to do crap at DW's parties, but normally I'm too tired to do anything and nobody wants to be my cameraman, so I just don't bother doing it too much. Yeah, you can ask me for a camera guy because um, yeah. Well, you see, the other have... thing is why I don't really like doing it in DW, like recording at DW's parties. I don't know how anyone else there feels about having their face seen because sometimes it, when the fursuiters are there, sometimes they don't have their heads on, and I'm like, I don't want to record them if they don't like having their face seen. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I would be the same like that because um, I know I accidentally got my face caught in one of the videos that I shouldn't get near that car because of fucking reflection. It was a nice car, don't yell at it. <laughs> it was a Toyota. Yeah, Toyotas are nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but still, the black screen caught my face. Um, thankfully, my hair is longer than before, and... I... Crap, I was wearing glasses during that time. Well, fuck. Most of y'all know what I look like now. <laughs> Hashtag face okay. reveal. Hell no. <laughs> Alright. So, I want to talk about suicide for a little bit because it's the most sensitive talk, uh, topic that I want to bring up because um, suicide rates have been going up, sometimes a little bit more in the furry fandom than any other fandom around. Anime fandom don't really have that much because no one disrespects their waifus or animes. We just have better... Uh... Weebs have better uh, respect for each other than yiffers do, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after all, the people of hentai and the anime groups, otakus, weeboos, they're, they, they're just equal. They're just equal because they all love it. But and when then, it comes to... When it comes to <laughs> furries, they're like, who can, be, who can have the best fursuit and he can, who, can look the, who can be the most popular and... Oh my god, I'm popular, I'm gonna disown anyone else. Like, oh my god, they're sending me friend requests because I have a nice looking fursuit. Like, fuck them, I'm only gonna be friends with poppy furs. I'm such an entitled little prick, mm -hmm. fuck my ass. Furries yeah. are... I wanna... Sin. Yeah, I wanna... <laughs> yeah, I want to get that subject on to later for discriminations and fandom fights. So, um, for now, <laughs> I'm gonna just talk to into the suicide topic so anyway i've been helping people for four years since um suicide attempts happened um when i was in the pokemon fandom back then because um way back then in 2010 i had a roleplay friend that was suicidal um he actually did sent like very sent of photos that actually scarred me when I was little because I was only 12 during that time and I was shocked of how people usually react because when I was 12, I was just only looking and thinking about myself. I never paid attention to anyone when I was little but seeing someone that into suicide actually changed how I think of people. So I actually helped this role player friend of mine back then um he was upset it's loneliness sadness and he got bullied because um he liked this and that back then the pokemon fandom um 2010 was actually harsh and yeah i've been bullied throughout that time by entire team well group actually but yeah i helped this person and they were thankful for it and i know today um I think they're still, yeah, they're still on PS3. I never talked to them, and yeah, they changed. They're actually good. They're healthy. They're all right. They're happy to come. He's taken. I'm fine with it. But as soon as I, as soon as that ended, um, I started helping many other people with their suicides and attempting suicides because it's been sad for them and all the drama they faced, I understand from that point because um, I lost my friend since um, 
since I had done something wrong back then. Um, I don't know if I want to discuss this in a podcast, though. But um, anyway, I done wrong shit back then. I hurt my one friend because some accident. But here I am. Um, I'm still helping people. People suicided in their minds or feeling depressed or upset. I helped people a lot back then. But nowadays, I never help much people anyway because I'm facing my own problems at the moment. Well, everyone has problems that we all have. We don't want to share them. We don't want to talk about them. I don't mind, but I tell people about it because mm, it's just regular shit. Every single day is shit in my life. I get punched. I get bullied. I get pushed around. you seen how Trevor was defending me because of the furry Mino. Well, about leftists hitting on me, which was pretty much a shock when Trevor made that podcast. He did apologize for it, though, so I forgave him. But, yeah. It's been a long time since I helped someone. I'm already... People would suggest me to become a therapist, but <laughs> I'm not really good at that, honestly. Not even today, not even back then. So, I want to say, if any one of you guys with friends are having, like, the friends are thinking about suicide or attempts, please, don't ignore them. Just talk to them. Talk to them a bit. Um, care for them. Because I know many people get depressed they are thinking of suicide because of loneliness. That actually happened. I remember my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, my first girlfriend's uh, brother, um, who actually lost a friend. And he started been driving the suicide ever since, and I had to help him. So I just wanted to get this over with. Just help. Just help anyone. Just talk to anyone. Because you may never know if they're going to think of suicide. Because I did have one friend that actually did commit suicide three years ago. I was talking to him every day. I talked to everyone every day, sometimes. But he didn't even show any signs of suicide. I never even knew. So one day when I was at school, um, he didn't even come at all. I was like, what the hell is he? Um, he's supposed to be here today. Um, two days later after that, I heard that he passed away because um, he actually hung himself in the closet because he was secretly bullied. I never knew this. I'm always around him. I was upset during that time. I was pissed. It was online, cyber bully that happened back then. I regret not helping him because I never knew. Even though he never told me what happened, I still feel upset about it because um, I never helped him back then. I was upset ever since um, my boyfriend passed away from cancer. Like, I always regret. I feel regret. I feel pain. I feel upset. You can't, you can't get that out of your mind every damn day. You feel like you're worthless or can't help the person. Ever s since 2010, I always helped everyone. But you gotta know, you can't help everyone that you know. <sighs> Sorry, I'm almost tearing up for a moment. <sighs> so, please, make sure your friends are okay. Ask them how they are, how their day is. Um, and please, if there's anything that's um, out of balance of their shape or something a bit strange, please um, just make sure they're okay. You may never know if they want to commit suicide because some people are good and well at hiding it. So I just want to get that out. If you have any friends or family that died of suicide, 
just remember, you can help everyone else in this world. Furries, weeaboos, well, anime groups, any other fandom, even hell of stranger, go ahead, help them. They need your attention. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> sorry about the long one. So. Since that topic's over, a little bit. it's whatever. <sighs> yeah. So, I want to get to the point of discrimination, like, like Trevor was talking about. Um, there are some people that has like crazy sides of the like, furry fandom, straight people. Homosexuals, yiffers, non yiffers, and people that mm, think they're all poppy furs because they're fursuits. <laughs> so you can add any comments on there, um, Trevor. Um, <coughs> I don't really know what kind of comments to add on to it. Like any comments, like something discrimination or anything against the furry fandom that the furries talk about? Uh, I don't know, dog fuckers or something? I don't know. The zoo files? Zoo files? Yeah, sure. Files. Yeah, that. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's one actually a good. That's actually one of the good little subjects about it. Um, I don't know if you may have heard or saw about the um, there was like a picture of a cat stabbing a a blue tiger a cat stabbed a blue tiger uh i gotta find it because um this was also one of the craziness that happened a while ago um there's a whole bunch of pictures of it going on but this one person um, had their file saying, like, I am a zoo file. And that drove people up the wall. God, I suck ass at drawing. Um, yeah, um, fuck, zoo files. Um, <laughs> I don't really know any of them IRL. Yeah. Just. It never, it's rare. It's rare to find people that has, um, sexual fetishes or kinks against animals. We, the furry fandom, always gets accused of that. A lot. You can see in one of Trevor's video on our latest podcast about a person commenting like, You fuck people, you fuck animals in those suits? That's disgusting. I saw that. I ignored it, though, because I don't want to get into any shit with anyone. I honestly don't give a shit what people say about the fandom. The fandom's already trash at it, as it is, so if they want to make fun of them, they can... Everyone else can get butt hurt. I'm just going to be here like, well, it's it's true. I'm not going to ignore it. Exactly. Um... I mean, like, every fandom is weird in their own way. Most of the people who, like, hate on the furries are, like, those weeaboos and... What, what is it? Those... People who are on 4chan a lot, and uh, mm. what else is it? I don't know. The, oh, I always found that, like, no other fandom, like, hated on a furry fan, except, like, the weeaboos, because first, I don't know if it's, like, um, I don't know if it's, like, the animation fa fandoms always, like, hate on mm -hmm. each other or something, because I, I feel like it's like uh like oh my god the furries have better art than my favorite anime artists why the hell do furries have better art than this I'm just gonna hate them because there's not a new the the art style of Dragon Ball Z is in the same for like twenty years fuck off I don't know I always find the weeaboos to be the most cringiest I don't want to make any comments towards uh uh one of the fandoms because. I'll be put into the subject. I'll be like, oh, I'm a bad example. But anyway, I found the picture, so here you go. This is the one I'm actually talking about. <coughs> one punch. <laughs> oh, I love One Punch Man. What, what's the picture? It's the zoo first one that I was talking about. <coughs> Sick fuck. 
credit to artists. I don't want you to give their names. Yeah, um, I actually know who they are because um, they say like, sure, but don't share my name. Uh, <coughs> I like I like the art style. It's not that bad. Yeah. So like, that has yeah. Oh. Like this picture kind of like that picture kind of makes me confused. Like, uh, I know it's all I know it's the person's persona and it's just like whatever. But I I find it kind of funny how two furries are like yelling at, at each other and like <laughs> one furry is calling the other one a six buck. Like, um, I know I'm taking this way out of context, but technically they're both animals and they both love each other. So, uh, I'm taking yeah. this way out of context. <laughs> Yeah, but, but I like the I like the art style. It's not it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually a good art style though. I kinda like it. But <laughs> the picture is about um the person that's into zoo first is actually actually into fucking animals in real life. Like Crystal Castles. What the hell is Crystal ca Castles? I have no idea. I'm just looking at the art style, and I'm like, oh, wow, what can, what can I learn from, like, looking at this? And I'm like, damn, I gotta learn how to do fingers better, and, like, arms better, and muzzles, and all that. I'm just looking at it, like, what can I learn from this? Also, um, there's a page called, um, Yif and Hell. Yifs and Hell? Yep and there's a, there's also a page called Satan Fox uh, encourages you for something. I don't remember. Satan Jesus Fox, Fox, yeah, Je yeah. Jesus Fox forgives your gifts. Yeah, I know those page pages because um, you know, I was attempting to do the Jesus Fox and Furry Mino back then. Yeah, I remember you did that. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this in the Furry Mino since they don't have a Jesus Fox in there. Is you the real <laughs> Jesus Fox? <laughs> But yeah, um, <laughs> so the Yes and Hell page um had a uh, admin, admin. Sorry, I say things wrong. Oh, is this the one where you posted that one video about the two dogs looking at each other or something? Yes, yes. Wow, news gets around quickly. Wolf Freeman is actually their Facebook name. <laughs> I lied about the first part of the name, but in the last part, so I'm just still keeping their. Facebook's private because um, we don't want to start any drama, so we're just hiding out the stuff from people. Even though we said the one person that commits suicide, but we are doing this just to give them respect. But <coughs> yeah, that that guy was actually banned from admin, admin, and uh, Paige actually apologized for it, saying like. They never knew about it. They didn't even see it happen, but they got a lot of shits going right at them for it. It's kind of weird, though. But still, I don't want to make an opinion on it, because, you know, furries are people just like their own kinks. A lot. Furries love their drama. Yep. <laughs> What's up, Drama yeah. Alert Nation? My name is Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. <coughs> oh boy. Who would be the Killer Keemstar of the furry world? Probably. Um, I have no idea. Prob probs me. Lol. <laughs> I was thinking about that at first, but I was like. I, I know there's another suitor that talks shit about the Phantom and say all the dramas and shit, but, oh yeah, the Australian, one of the Australian first suitors before, because they were talking about it, because they were talking about during that time the pedophile thing that was going on first, before anyone else, but they do have other contents other on their YouTube channels about all the dramas and stuff that's going on. Oh. Uh, yeah. <coughs> I actually don't know their name. But I think it starts with the letter A. I'm not sure. A or D. I don't, I'm not I too don't sure about it. <laughs> so yeah, the zoo first that's going on had been crazy on Facebook for me because I was seeing it from one of the first suitors saying like, 
oh, this person, blah, 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 blah. That reminds me, I saw something else, but I think it was one of your friends, Trevor. I don't know, but some of them, one of them dark shit and screen caps were going on. I don't know who it was. Who's, one of the first who was screen capping and talking about it? I don't, I don't know. I think, I think it's like deleted now because uh, it's been cleared up and blah blah blah. I don't know. The furry phantom just deletes stuff. I'm trying to get rid of it. It's how do I say her name, Mom? Huh? You know the screen caps I sent you. The the one with the cats, sick fuck one. Oh yeah. Yeah, the person that posted that, they're the one that screen caps saw one of your friends. I don't know who it was. Um, that right. was caused. That wait. I'm trying to. I'm going Facebook. Let me. I'm. I'm. I'm going on that person's profile. I'm curious. I'm Seth Olson. I'm Seth Olson. Olson. I think they will delete that. Amethyst. Oh, I know Amethyst. Yeah. I don't know who it was. I. I don't think it's Clace. I don't know. Clace wanna talk shit on me. No, no, he didn't talk shit on you. <laughs> he did not. But. Yeah, I know Clace wanna talk shit on me. Oh, yeah, Amethyst. I remember Amethyst. Yeah, Amethyst deleted me for some reason. She deleted you? Yeah, I was friends with her, and then she deleted me, like, oh, like a few weeks ago. Damn. What was she screen capping? I'm curious. She deleted it. I actually don't know who it is, because it was, like, a long time ago. I never talked to you about it. I was like, okay, I'm not going to tell him about this, but I think he's going to see it. Because no, you were. I don't know if it's just Sprax or. But I know it was like a black and white fursuit. I don't know if it's like Clace or um, Sprax. Clace is not black and white. Not by the, by the fur head. Not including the rainbow. I, I don't... Clace is pink and white. God damn it. So I don't know if it's Sprax-ton. I don't know. Braxton? Sprax. Sprax traps. Sprax? Sparks? Yes. I can't I'm friends think. with Sparks as well. Why would she hate on me? No one's talking shit about you. I said, like, one of these fursuiters is just, like, causing a bit of trouble. I don't know what kind of trouble, because I forgot a long time ago. Sparks, okay. Sparks is uh, iffy, but uh, Sparks hasn't done anything wrong with me. I haven't wronged her. She hasn't wronged me, so we're good on that. Clace, me and him are good friends. Um, I don't... What, what, were they poppy fur starting shit? I think so, because it's been going around. The only around. poppy furs I would know... Wait, when was it going around? It was a month ago, but it was deleted. Uh, yeah, um, because uh, things had yeah, calmed down. It calmed yeah, down. I don't know anyone. The only one thing I know, the only one I know who was talking shit was uh, Scrat after that one podcast, but I didn't give a shit about him. So no one cares about him. No, no one. I found his furry amino. Yeah. I, I want to be I want to be that guy and uh, follow him, but <laughs> don't. I don't, don't want to do that. Yeah, that's not true. I should comment <laughs> on his profile saying what what in the book. <laughs> yep. I'll give a. Uh, see how triggered he gets, cause you know it's scrap and triggered. You already been like, hey, how are you? I mean, I mean, he told me why are you saying shit off a website that's doesn't mean anything. I mean, if you weren't doing that shit in the first place, and they wouldn't have to be uh, <coughs> dramatic about you, so you, you have no room to talk. So. Yeah, and speaking of that, uh. There was another fursuiter, furry, that actually done that before. It's like, oh, we're going to do the limited edition of the Encyclopedia Dramatic with um, Scrat. <laughs> and Scrat did comment on that post. I forgot what it was. Limited edition? Yeah, I just called it a limited edition because um, it was actually their special... I don't know if there's a special subscriber, but... They were reading off the same thing I was on that website. Mm. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, okay. They were reading off Sprat's thing. It wasn't with Sprat himself. Yeah, it's just it's oh, like okay. um. Oh, I think I know what you're talking. What you found it? Woodland Ghoul. Oh, I know Woodland. Wait, yeah, I know Woodland Ghoul. Yeah, wait, the YouTuber. Yes. Yeah, he subbed to me. I know him. I I like him. Yeah, that's he, what goes, was... he he does controversial stuff like I do, so I like him. Yeah. <laughs> that's one. <laughs> God damn. <coughs> oh, where the hell is that? Oh, there it is. 1000 sub special Encyclopedia Britannica Sprat. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Go to, go to that and. I'm pretty sure he has comments disabled, but I'm curious. Um, I don't. I think so. Uh, I gotta see. Um. Yeah, it's disabled. So, yeah, yeah. It's oh, gone it's from disabled? there. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do in E N C Insight and I'm gonna do Encyclopedia Dramatica and see what shows up on YouTube. Um oh, we got, don't pull we got, up don't pull it up on your phone. Why? Because they will send you ads everywhere, just put you in random sites every second. No, I'm on YouTube, not Google. Oh, okay, 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 that makes sense. Oh, mysterious Mr. Eater has long uh being, Encyclopedia Dramatica is being sued. Oh no. I am not surprised by that. Ben Deluna, <coughs> I don't know about him. But. Snoop, Snoopy's Ranch Encyclopedia Dramatica. I don't see much furries on here. It's kind of. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh. Both. Encyclopedia Dramatica has a YouTube channel. Oh wow. Oh, it's like podcast stuff. Okay. <laughs> Based on the that and all the shit that's going on on Facebook, I realize there's even more drama on Facebook than they are on Furry Meet now. Of course. If you're watching this, go sub the Woodling Ghoul. Tell him I tell her I said hi. Yeah, I give credit to that person because they do have balls, like um, Trevor does, of speaking a lot of stuff that goes on in the fandom. I mean, the only difference between me and Woodland is I don't disable my comments. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I understand if you're getting hate, but that's just, just you. You do you. Uh, <coughs> back on topic, because we got on about Scrat. Well, fuck Scrat. Scrat it's wants to be a... Yeah, it's usually it's a douche. Scrat can be a douche. Fuck him. It's always about Scrat and Furry Amino you know, that throws it off. Throws off. Throws us off. God damn it! I can't speak English today. Like I say, <laughs> if Scrat gets verified on Furry Amino, you know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go all out. I'm just making gonna make another rant on him. Rant on <laughs> FA. I don't give a shit what I said. If Scrat gets a uh, verified on that, I'm just going all out. Which I doubt they would anyway. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think they would. Considering I don't think they verify anybody with an Encyclopedia Dramatica, even though fucking, <laughs> you know, t I'll, I take that back. Telephone's on there, so I take that back. Yeah, she is on there. <laughs> and so is um, there was someone else too. Um, the, well, he's not on for reason, you know. So I take that back. Who? Um, the, F the furry the. For affinity, um, admin, the dragon, uh, dragon sir. Oh, I yeah, I remember you. You talked about him before. Yeah, back on topic because I knew that encyclopedia, dramatic, just gotta stop the track. Um, I was talking about Zoopers, well, pedophile shit. It's always goes on in Facebook too, because um. Surprisingly enough. I mean, one other thing I find really stupid. If you're being bullied on the internet, there's this thing called a block button that no one knows about. It's just like driving. No one knows about the turn signals. <laughs> it's like if you're driving, use a turn signal. If you're being bullied online, use the block button. It's not rocket science. You're playing your own part on that. It's like, oh my god, I'm being bullied. I don't know what to do. I don't want to hit the block button. I'm kind of interested in what they're saying. <gasps> they told me to KMS. Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just block them. 
Uh, that actually happened once to the one person I know. I was like, okay, just block them. He's like, I don't want to, um, because um, they'll threaten me if I if they if I block them, they'll just kill me in real life. I was like, they don't know where you live. This is a fucking internet. And people, at the to worst, be honest, okay. to be honest, people who, uh, wait, what happened? No, you keep going. I said, like, they just blocked them at the words. Oh. To be honest, uh, people who are cyberbullied don't get any pity or remorse from me because, honestly, there is the, uh, like I said, block button. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, if you're too stupid to block people, then, uh, <coughs> and you get no pity from me. Yeah, um... And there goes my Encyclopedia Dramatica page. Hi, Encyclopedia Dramatica. <laughs> yeah. Trevor knows that I've been, like, having creepy messages. And I do block people um, from it. Yeah, you're the... welcome for me tagging you in those posts. Wait, what? I, oh, yeah. Remember I yeah. tagged you and you got, like, 80 friend requests from it? I Yeah, I still blame you for it and I... Really want to delete my faceplate, but there are some people that had to keep on talking to them throughout that Facebook. It's you and someone else. Because that person does not use Telegram or any other website except for Facebook itself, and that's just, you know. I do not like Facebook, yet I had to stick to it just to talk to one person that doesn't have Telegram or any other. Social media sites. <coughs> I still find it funny how DW got reported on Facebook. <laughs> I kind of feel bad because of that. I, I like seeing his posts, even though he only posted like once on Blue Moon. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I actually seen, like I said, I've been in Facebook in the past, and during 2011. Facebook started deleting um, role players back then, so I'm not actually surprised that Darken just got reported and taken down by Facebook because I seen it happen a lot. Wait, I never Dar had a happen. Wait, Darken to me. role plays? I didn't know he role plays. No, no. It's like um, ugh. back then Pokemon fandom, Pokemon role players get their profiles attacked because it's a fake name. Well, uh... fake name users. Yeah, fake names is the only. Excuse that Facebook deletes everyone, and that never happened to me because um, I added real first names before back then. I'm fucking cringy for saying that. Well, well, my current profile um has um Zerby. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, it's a real last name real <coughs> i searched names god damn i don't know it was a, a real name back then because um when i made that name that's when i got my first ps3 and i was like even now yeah it's coincidence how it's my spirit animal and it's unfortunately my psn account name So do you, bitch. Black Ops 2 on that PS3. Yo. <laughs> I told you back then, it was like... I had, ah, I had it before you even had it. Well, anyway, <coughs> but yeah, mm, fuck, <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about before, all this crazy nonsense. <laughs> so, yeah, oh yeah, the cyberbullying one. But yeah, um, Trevor didn't see weird shit that I get messages from, like, um, I had this one user says, like, to me, um, hey! Can we check each other's penises? Because, you know, you're different. Uh-oh. I just realized I was clicking your screen. 
Like, we can't even talk. But, but yeah, um, even though I never, I don't have much experience in being bullied. Well, 2010, that was bully, but I bullied. I bullied. And learn shit that goes on with Phantom, no furry me, all the whole ideas. I couldn't care less than being bullied in real life or even in even in the internet. Real life, I just want I t back then. I used my feet and knees when I was over at school and my friend with um, good moving thing to um so back and they were gonna take what's gonna us off time. Moving. They both decided to scare me. It was light. I couldn't handle it. Flexible. I'm a flexible person. Kick him right in the jaw. I'm gonna... Yeah. Try to tell fast I am because um DDR helped me out. <laughs> I can hear like tapping noises on the mic. Oh, how fast I am playing. <laughs> I was gonna invite you out there. Heck. We did it. I got you. Jump. He's like, okay. Um, I realize it may not, but if it's good, like, okay. punch some in the punch in the balls. I would not recommend. Some some when it is right. Um, they made a new little little call the. Uh, it was a little building. This very cool. I was never in my full cycle. Ah, shit. Um. Oh wait, that was when I was in sixth grade. When I was in ninth grade.
college. I was in middle school, actually. Damn. I gotta get Lauren. But, yeah, the high school was filled, so the night graders were stuck in middle school, so that sucks for us. But at advantage, we won't be bullied because we're just little 90s ninth graders. <laughs> but when I was in the cafeteria, I looked like an emo fuck. Ew, I was even more emo than... Ew, get out of here. Everyone in my school works half out. I did have half out shirts, too. Everyone in my school wore a tap out, and then people stopped wearing that, and everyone started wearing BC, so I was like, fuck it. I like the shoes. I need a beanie pair of skate shoes, so. Now I wear skate shoes everywhere. Uh, what size What size were you? Oh, I'm like, I'm like size 11, 12. I was going to say, if you had some of the sizes you don't want, I'll take them. I want to get I want to get me I want to get me a zebra striped Osiris cover. That would have been cool. Thank <laughs> you. 